Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is, are the Clippers taking a huge risk trading these pieces for Kyle Lowry? So that's the topic I'm going to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified. Of whenever we drop our content also if you guys want to become a part of one of the one of the fastest growing online sports communities be sure to check out dreamers pro match max our, our own very own our very own platform that we created which is in the description below it's a place where you can go start basketball discussions start basketball debates ask me any question you want to about basketball any other sports chat live during games i know that's a feature a lot of you guys mentioned also be able to go post game live with us and chat so we can take your questions about 20 or 30 minutes after games, consume original content that you'll get nowhere else to be quite to be to be, to be honest with you and so many other things. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to check it out. We have it in the description below. Get seven days of free access. I know some of you people may have some questions. So some of you guys may have some questions. So just check it out for seven days. See, see, see if you like it. So that's that's in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Anyway, let me get into this topic here. So we know the Clippers or Clippers fans have been clamoring for a new point guard, right? The media has said that's one of the major weak points of the Clippers, and Clippers fans have also kind of pointed to that, and even me myself. I've come to, uh, 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 sm uh, you know, um, smell the roses and realize, listen, they do have they do have some issues at the point guard um, position. Now, um, some reports recently, um, recently I'm talking about within the last day or two, um, have recently come out that Kyle Lowry would prefer to go to the, to the Los Angeles Clippers. Right. Remember, guys, two years ago, he captured his first NBA title with Kawhi Leonard and Serge Ibaka, who are currently playing on the Clippers roster. So it's not like as if uh, he's going to a team where he doesn't know any of the guys. He has no chemistry with those guys. And you just kind of like um, 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 uh, um, uh, drop him in. Uh, what's the word? Air dropping him. Uh, what's the, is it dro air dropping? Him? I forgot the term anyway. Uh, drop him in, dropping him in on a new team that he knows that he doesn't know anyone. He's just going to be like the new guy there. Uh, kind of like what they did, what the Toronto Raptors did with Kawhi Leonard two years ago. That's not the scenario. Uh, if he comes to the Clippers, he already has a relationship with these guys um, um, there. Now, other reports have said that Kyle Lowry also recently sold his Toronto home. That's what I've heard. Um, obviously, I can't verify that 100%. I mean, how, how would you be able to verify that? But that's what some of the reports uh, um, have been saying. And everyone knows that the Clippers have some issues at the point guard spot. I've said that all season long, um, that they have too many question marks. You have Patrick Beverly, who's a great defender, on-the-ball defender that can hit threes, but not very good at running a team. You have Lou Williams, who can score with the best of them, that plays no defense, is a poor decision maker. You have Reggie Jackson, who's just a little bit more like Lou Williams. And then you have Terrence Mann, who plays great defense, plays a lot of energy, can make great plays, but can't score, doesn't have the confidence to score just yet because he's a sophomore uh, in the NBA. Now, the question is, Assuming uh, they could get Kyle Lowry, what what pieces should the Clippers be willing to part ways with? Now, ideally, or, or what pieces would the Toronto Raptors even be interested in the first place? Now, ideally, the Clippers, these are the pieces that I believe that they ha they would be able to put on the table. You have Avita Zubac, who I like. You have Lou Williams. You have Patrick Beverly. You have Reggie Jackson, Terrence Mann, and zero picks. The Raptors have uh, the, the, the Clippers have no picks. Remember. The way they were able to get Paul George in the first place was by giving away their picks to the Oklahoma City Thunder, if I'm not mistaken. So the Clippers have no picks. And they traded away a lot of their pieces, Danilo Gallinari and all of these guys. So uh, that's the current situation that they have. Now, the first problem is this. Lou Williams, we recently did a video on this, that Lou Williams has threatened that if he's traded, I mean, this is what he said, that he's going to retire. So that's kind of the first problem. If He's threatened that if you trade me, I'm going to retire. Secondly... Uh, Vita Zubak is too versatile of a big. He's a very young guy. He's still a young guy. I think he's 23, 24 years old. He's there. He's the is, is there. He's the, is the center that comes off the bench. And if they were to trade him away, I think you're putting too much pressure uh, on Serge Ibaka because now remember, guys, Serge Ibaka is only playing about 24, 25 minutes a game to begin with. And Serge, I think, is meant to be. They, they brought Serge to really make a run at the title. So you want to make sure you have Serge fresh in the playoffs. So if you if you trade away Sir, uh, 
uh, if, if it's a Zubac. Now, the Clippers now, you kind of um, solve one problem and create another one. You solve your point guard problem, but now create an issue uh, um, at the center position. So they, they would now need to go out there and try to sign a center, a big on, on in the free agent market. So that's another thing that, that, that they would need to be that they, that they would need to pay attention to. So it's one of the reasons why I would not put um, 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 uh, if it's a Zubak on the trading block, I would not put him in a scenario in order to get Kyle Lowry that if it's a Zubak will be part of the part of the equation. I would not put him out there. So that's another thing. Now, another issue uh, is matching salaries. Remember, Kyle Lowry is earning about 30 million a year. So he has a very big um, uh, salary. But if the Toronto Raptors um, are willing to buy him out, if the Raptors are willing to buy him out, then he can go, then, then he can go to the Clippers and get, a, and, 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 uh, and get a, and get a pay cut. Think of what just happened to Blake Griffin with the, with the, with the Brooklyn Nets. Okay. B Blake Griffin was one of the highest paid players in the NBA, but the, 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 but the Detroit Pistons bought him out. He was able to go to the, what is it? The Brooklyn Nets for a mid-level exception and they got him. So, the, the the Detroit Pistons, he's still going to get his money from them. They were able to move that contract off their books, and then he accept and, and then he accepted a very uh, small contract to go play with the Brooklyn Nets, so they can fit him under their cap. So they were able to make that thing. They were able to make it work out um, um, there, and I think the Clippers can find a way to make him fit under the cap, assuming the Toronto Raptors would be, number one be willing to buy him out. Uh, for a decent, for a nice amount of money, and if Kyle Lowry is accepting to take the mid-level exception to go play with the Toronto, uh, with the uh, with the Los Angeles Clippers, because remember he's going to get his money. It's not like as if he's giving up his salary. The Toronto Raptors are going to say, "Listen, we're going to throw your bone. We'll, we'll cover your salary and allow you to go play, um, um, uh, go play on a championship contender." Now, here are the pieces I think they should move if this move is actually possible if there's a real possibility of this move actually happening i think they should try to get rid of reggie jackson and lou williams these guys are very similar reggie jackson to me is just a younger lou williams that plays a little bit better defense and i would keep if it's zubak and patrick beverly this is me. I think Patrick Beverly is the emotional leader of the team. He's one of the, he's their best point guard defender. So he takes a lot of pressure off Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. And, and I would rather have him because I, I like his energy and his tenacity that he plays with. Uh, and obviously, if you were to get a uh, Kyle Lowry, then uh, Patrick Beverly will, will for sure be coming off the um, uh, the bench. And I think it could work if Toronto, if the Toronto Raptors are, are willing to are willing to buy him out. Now, with the thing about Lou Williams, Lou Williams has said that again, if you trade him, he's going to retire. Well, Lou Williams has an expiring contract. His contract expires this season, the 2021 season. So, if they traded for him and he wanted to retire, fine, he can retire next year. Boom. You trade him over there, his contract expires at the end of this season, then you retire. Then that'll be on Lou Williams. Does he want to retire that way? Or would he continue to want to play? Would he, would he want to continue to play in the NBA? So the thing of him retiring doesn't really affect the 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 what is it? The um it doesn't affect the the Clippers as far as them being able to trade him, unless you have a scenario where where he's traded away and he refuses to show up uh to the team right then that's a unique scenario where he's like i'm not showing up i'm retiring then that's not very professional i don't i don't i don't think something like that would happen that if you trade me away from this team to another team i'm not showing up to work i don't think something like that would happen and that's not how you would want to end your career by not by not showing up to work i think as a professional he would show up but he has an expiring contract anyway so you trade him his contract expires this year so that's not an issue and um, Reggie Jackson is not get, getting paid a ton of money. Some people may say, oh, what about Luke Kennard? You can throw in Luke Kennard to sweeten up the deal. Sure. You can throw in Luke Kennard, Reggie Jackson, and Lou Williams as long as you don't touch uh, Marcus Moore Sr., you don't touch Patrick Beverly, and you don't touch Avita Zubak. I forgot about Luke Kennard. You can throw him in there to sweeten up the deal, and then I think you got yourself a package. Get, you can trade Lou Williams, trade Luke Kennard, and trade, uh, what's this guy's name, and trade um, uh, Reggie Jackson. Keep Avita Zubak, keep Patrick Beverly, and don't you dare go near Marcus Morris Sr. I think I think that's a scenario where I can see the trade going down, and it really all it really all comes down to the Toronto Raptors uh, wanting to help Kyle Lowry get another championship ring, in my opinion. Or giving him a shot to go get a championship ring because if they if they decided to buy him out similarly to what the Detroit Pistons did, then I think there's a real possibility uh, for it happening. And those are the pieces that I would let. Those are the pieces I would trade away. I wouldn't touch those other guys. And I think if they can do that, then the Clippers are now 
for sure going to be one of the most talented teams in the Western Conference. And they're probably they will probably have one of the best starting fives in the Western Conference and the most balanced starting fives. And you would have a starting five with some serious championship experience with Kawhi Leonard, uh, uh, Kyle Lowry, and Serge Ibaka. You now have a, a really good leader on your team in Kyle Lowry. And then you would pair him with Kawhi, Paul George. And I think he would play a big role and, and be, be a very good impact player on Paul George. And he would also be able to help Terrence Mann, the, the young rookie coming off the bench. So if they're able to pull that off, given the scenario I just gave you, which I think is quite possible, actually, when you kind of when you kind of uh, uh, reason it out. Then I think these are the pieces that the, that the Clippers can trade in. I, and then in this scenario, I don't think they're giving up too much. I know a lot of you guys are kind of over Luke Kennard. It's just in the last game, he really played like as if he didn't want to be traded. But for the for the last five, 10 games, he hasn't even been playing uh, games to begin with. So you throw in Luke Kennard, throw in Reggie Jackson, throw in Lou Williams. I think you can get the deal done. And if Lou Williams says he wants to retire, then it's fine because he has an expiring contract anyway. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about all the things that I said here? Do you think it's a possibility uh, or do you, do you have other pieces or you just think, listen, let's just stay away from Kyle Lowry. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoy the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.